hello 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 welcome to the channel so today we'll be talking about creating this type of graph with Python so as you can see we have our y-axis x-axis kind of like um, a time series or you could call this particular graph an index series graph so I'm using the file name file part as the title of the chart and the label so essentially doing being able to do this and um, so uh, my data is coming off from an excel file so let's let's see let me maximize it so this is a very simple data so you just have some index so from 1 to 13 then you have random water pressure values so very simple so we are pretending pretending that this is a, a water pressure uh, values p in psi and um and yeah that's it so you know what let's go ahead and add in psi here i believe i can let me just do psi here so i'm just generating random numbers so it's just random psi values all right so let me close out of this save close out of this and let's create a python program so let's go ahead and search python okay so python application i'm gonna double click so uh, another thing that is very very um cool about this project is that we are doing it in visual studio so let me say plot data so now i am going to see what data pi all right so i'm going to create the project So as soon as I have this, I like I usually want my interactive ID um, to be side by side. So this is um, pi. Sorry, I right click here, then I say open interactive ID. So I have my script file here, and this is my interactive ID, and I have kind of like my solution here. So again, this is Visual Studio. I like I love Visual Studio because I can do C sharp programming here, Python programming here, and you know all the other programming. So so let's go ahead and right click here, open open folder explorer. So it will be right here. So it actually opened on the second screen. Let me pull it in here. So this is essentially our folder, right? So I'm, I'm going to back up here. So this is essentially our folder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the Excel file that I want to um, plot the graph. So let's go ahead and call it um, data. Let's go ahead and call it water pressure data right all right so let's go ahead and open it I am going to basically index um, water pressure right PSI right so now I'm going to go to make a bunch of numbers I'm gonna stop at five so now let's go ahead and just do random yeah I'll just go ahead and make it 20 40 10 11 55 and 99 right all right so now we have our data this is the data that we want to graph go ahead and save it cancel out of it save it so let's minimize this for now so now first thing that comes to my mind is that i want to get the file path for this thing right so i am going to right click right hold the keyboard shift and right click on this file go ahead and copy the the path then on on the python i want to call it path right and um, i am going to add the and hit ctrl v which will paste the which will paste the part, right? So the reason why I added this R so that uh, so that this variable would treat um, this file part as a, a full string, you know, as a full string, right? So now, what do I want to do next? First thing that comes to mind is that I want to open up this file, right? So this is where 
our panda comes in comes in handy so we want to import panda uh, speedy right so since we are here already so let's go ahead and import you know matplotlib matplotlib dot pi plot as plt all right so now that we have those two things because we will use it to handle the data we will use this to plot it to make it a nice plot right now that we have those now the first thing that i want to do is to find a way to open open the data and read it right so this is why we this is where we use the panda and uh, right now the we want to and our cell our file is an excel file right so we want to use this function so the the file name is the path and uh, before we do that it looks like um, the computer does not recognize this library the reason being that we do not have it in our um, actually we do have panda in our, in our library but we do, we have we also have um, matplotlib interesting so you should have here you go oh here we go okay we do so but if you do not then you just need to click here manage library and type in panda and have it installed just click on it it will install I'm, i have it already installed so matplotlib then you need to install it too so i do not want to install it so let's go ahead and cancel out of it failed all right so what's next so now the next argument will be zero because i want to um i want to talk to the i want to talk to the sheet work worksheet number one which is the index will be zero so it'll be zero here one two right so i want to talk to the data here or get the data from here so that this is why we want to add zero here then the next thing is we want to use an engine um, open pi excel so i you so yep here you go so now let's go ahead and look at what the data looks like right um this is where you use head to look at what the data looks like so i'm gonna control shift we'll run the we'll run the app sorry i didn't so so this is this is the data right here so I don't, I don't know if you caught what i said so with 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 visual studio usually this is how i run it you select it hit control enter then it will run the code so as you could see my environment it was able to read all the files in there so this is the index and this is the what appears there. so as you could see we have from one to five of our data all all in there which is the same thing that we have here, right? 20, 40, 11, 55, 99, right? So now we can actually read our Excel file, right? So moving on, so now we want to actually plot the file, right? So what do we want to do? We want to do plt dot, plt dot plot. So now we want to do df dot, index right so this is the index that we want we want to you know go ahead and copy it so we that we have the correct part so we want that to be on the x axis now the y axis we want df dot so we want to copy this then we want to put it here and we want our line color to be red right all right making sense let's go ahead and put all right so now now that we have plotted it now we want to show it show it right so let's go ahead and plot plt dot show let's go ahead and run it control a so this, the way I selected the code is Control A, then Control Enter. Booyah! Look at that. We have the one, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four. But essentially, these are our data point one, two, three, four. Wait, 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 five. Let's see. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So these are our data point one, two, three, four. Is somewhere here than five. Yep, right here. So four is around. Let's see. What is the value of four right there? Four is fifty-five. So four is here. Yeah, it's about fifty-five right here. Yep. All right. So yeah. So now, what do we want to do next? We want to put some title, some level, and some level here, right? So let's do that. <coughs> So typically I like to do this before the show. So let's go ahead and do plt dot um, title. So I I will try to include the path as my title, just so I know the data that I've plotted. Uh, I love to do that just so in in in, in a couple of years I will still know you know where to find. The data that I plotted, then I, I add the actual title here. So let's say water pressure versus index. Right? Easy enough. Then I usually let's go ahead and make this bigger. So index. So I usually add this as well, the location of the title. So I'm going to say center, right? Yep. Then the next thing I want to do is the X level. So now let's call it index. Then PLT Y level, let's call it um, water pressure. And let's go ahead and call it PSI, right? And that's it. All right, let's go ahead and run it. Control A, Control Shift, Control Enter. Pardon me. So look at that. We have our title right here. This is the location of the file that we are plotting. We have the actual title, water pressure versus index. Then we have our levels here. Looking pretty good. Now, the next thing I usually like to do is to save it. And in a file, right? So not just showing it pretty like this. So I want to save it. How do I do that? Let's go ahead and do plt dot save file. So now I want to call it essentially the same um, file name as as our file that we are plotting the Excel file. So but we want to remove the um, dot xll. So if you look at here. So we basically want to call it this, this same name, but obviously we want to remove this. So if you count one, two, three, four, five. So we want to remove the five character from at the end. So this is where this comes in. I love Python. It just it just make things happen. It, it, it just works. <laughs> no questions asked. It works. So this is this is all you need to do to remove those last two. Now I want to add add um, um dot png at the end right make sense so now i just save the file so now let's go ahead and open up where so essentially this file will be here right but it will have it will be a picture like a png file right so let's go ahead and run this code control a then control enter so let's go ahead and open up here all right look at that it's already there so let's close this out and if you open up if you open up this picture that's the same thing so now you have the graph in a picture and you are good to go life is good right so yeah that's essentially what i wanted to show you today um i'll run it again that's essentially what, what i wanted to show you today but there's a, a couple key points you know being able to save this um graph uh, in a file so that you can look at it later on without running the script being able to write your script and watch it watch the ID watch the interactive 
environment sh um, show the output here and being able to install packages really easy with Visual Studio so I uh, hope this was helpful um, let me know if you have any comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you later bye bye